Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. denounced on May 31st what he described as illegal, coercive, aggressive and deceptive actions being taken in the disputed South China Sea. Speaking at the opening of the Shangri-La Dialogue Defense Summit in Singapore, Mr. Marcos said the Philippines and other Southeast Asian countries have a vision for peace, stability and prosperity in the South China Sea, but that this was being undermined by other actors, without naming China. Unfortunately, this vision remains, for now, a distant reality. Illegal, coercive, aggressive and deceptive actions continue to violate our sovereignty, sovereign rights and jurisdiction, Mr. Marcos said. Encounters between the Philippines and China in Asia's most contested waters have grown more tense and frequent during the past year. As Beijing presses its claims to shoals in waters that Manila says are well within its exclusive economic zone. China's Coast Guard has stepped up so-called grey zone activities such as use of water cannons, collisions and ramming tactics to try to stop Philippine resupply and patrol missions. It has also deployed fishing boats that the Philippines and its allies consider militia. After his speech, Mr. Marcos called security in the South China Sea, through which a huge volume of trade passes, a global issue. A reporter asked Mr. Marcos whether China would be crossing a red line if one of its Coast Guard ships kills a Filipino with water cannons. If a Filipino citizen was killed by a willful act that is very close to what we define as an act of war, he replied, we would have crossed the Rubicon. Is that a red line? Almost certainly. The Philippines, a treaty ally of the United States, is a key focus of Washington's efforts to strengthen alliances and partnerships in the Asia-Pacific region as it seeks to counter China's growing military might and influence. Given its position in the South China Sea in proximity to self-ruled Taiwan, which China claims as its own, Philippine support would be crucial for the U.S. in the event of any conflict. Mr. Marcos said tensions between the U.S. and China were destabilizing for Southeast Asia as he called on Washington and Beijing to work harder to resolve disputes. Their rivalry is constraining the strategic choices of regional states. Their contest is exacerbating flashpoints and has created new security dilemmas, he said. The continued stability of this region requires China and the United States to manage their rivalry in a responsible manner, said Mr. Marcos. The Philippines expanded a 2014 agreement in 2023 to give U.S. military access to another four of its military bases, taking the total number to nine, including two in the far north of the country, less than 450 kilometers from Taiwan. The Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement allows U.S. troops to rotate through and store defense equipment and supplies, and has infuriated Beijing.